Hi, Brian from Applications here. Today I'll be walking you through the input and output section of the UX processors and UXA amplifiers and resolution. To access the DSP, click the Edit button. Click any input channel to begin editing. Click the right facing arrow to either expand or hide the detail pane. Click and drag functionality allows control to low shell filters, 5 PEQ filters, and an FIR high shell filter. In the detail pane, use the left or right arrow buttons to navigate from one band to another. By default, the FIR high shell filter is disabled. Check it to enable. As opposed to clicking and dragging, each parameter may also be manually configured. To reset all filters, click Flatten Channel EQ. Under the Input section, you have the option to adjust gain, invert polarity, and set delay or delay distance. For signal routing, you may assign input sources to input channels or combine input sources to a single input channel. Select an input source type between Analog, AES3, and Dante, or combine input sources to a single input channel. To rename an input channel, simply double-click on the current label. Click on any available output channel to edit the output parameters. The EQ filter in output section is nearly identical to that of the input channel differing only by 6 PEQ bands instead of 5 and a standard high-pass filter instead of an FIR. Under the gray box section, you can load EAW gray boxes and set an input source. Please look down in the description for a link to another video with a more in-depth look into this topic. Use the limiter to set voltage threshold as well as attack and release times. Utilize the AMP section to bridge amplifier output channels and select the load type in either voltage or ohms. Same as the input, to rename an output channel, simply double-click on the current label.